हेलो हाई दिस इज योर लकी सर हियर वी हैव ट्वेंटी फोर्थ जून सेकेंड शिफ्ट केमिस्ट्री पेपर अगेन मेमोरी बेस्ड है स्टूडेंट्स वॉट एवर द क्वेश्चन दे सेड एंड सम इंस्टीट्यूट दे आर गिविंग एंड दिस इज गिवन वे रिलेबल कोटा इंस्टीट्यूट थैंक यू सर्स फिजिकल एंड इनआर्गानिक केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेटल्स हैव हाइएस्ट मेल्टिंग पॉइंट यू कैन नोटिस यर Mercury is a liquid. Gallium is a liquid. Cesium is a liquid at room temperatures. So highest melting point will be given for only silver. Simple, simple logic. So very easy question it is. PCl5 exists but NCl5 does not. This is board level question. Again very 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 simple question due to non availability of vacant air gas and nitrogen. Very easy question. Easy. The above one is also very easy. Manganese plus six. Undergoes disproportionation in acidic medium. Difference between oxidation states of manganese in both products. This is little bit tricky. If you are good at uh, what do you say, D black elements, you can remember in D black elements this topic is there. MnO4 minus two undergoes MnO4 minus and MnO2. Here plus six oxidation state changes to plus seven. Plus six changes to plus four. So the change is here. One change here, two change, so the total change is going to be three. One interesting question it is, you need D black elements. In industrial preparation of which of the following compounds hydrogen gas is released? Sodium hydroxide, and the preparation method is, you can take sodium chloride onwards. Sodium chloride plus water it gives you sodium hydroxide plus chlorine plus hydrogen. Sodium hydroxide preparation method. Nelson's process, you can say, chlorine preparation, hydrogen preparation, also done. So one again simple question. If you are good at S block elements, this is a very easy question. Which of the following compounds is used as fire extinguishers? Fire extinguishers means baking soda. Direct option. Again, S block elements, memory based, and this memory you can easily remember because this question is in almost all materials. This question will be there. Here is a numerical uh, related to heat of formation of ethane is asked here. You can see some equation is given: carbon plus hydrogen gives rise to ethane. Heat of formation of ethane is asked. So the con the formula is reactance minus products. Not a very tough job. Okay, now here data is not completely available. Na? So here A, B, C like the previous one. Whatever it is, thermodynamics concept. In thermodynamics, important questions can be given. Uh, that is, typical concepts can be asked. But this is again easy question. Thermochemistry, you can say. Thermochemistry, thermodynamics, easy question. Which of the following one is not a sulphide ore? Galena, zinc blend, copper pyrites. In galena is PBS, zinc blend is ZNS, and copper pyrites will be having copper sulphide and iron sulphide. Barytes is barium sulphide. Which of the following form does not exist in enamel? Okay, now enamel generally contain fluorapatites, chlorapatites of compounds. Now fluorapatite will be there. In fluorapatite, Ca three PO four taken twice, CaF two. Again, basic level. Okay, now if you see P block elements of second year, P block and CRT, uh, halogens introduction only you can find this point. So again, purely NCRT based. The order of bond order of the following C two minus two. N two minus two, O two minus two, C two minus two. Number of electrons are fourteen. N two minus two. Number of electrons are sixteen. O two minus two. Number of electrons are eighteen. So the bond order is here three. Here the bond order is going to be two. Here the bond order is one. I gave you shortcut. You can see my old videos. Okay, now eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. If these are the number of electrons. The bond order is very simple. Start from zero, increase point five, and go up to three. Then decrease point five, come up to one, zero, one point five, one zero point five zero. So with this, you can easily say how many electrons are there, and what is the bond order? What is the energy of one mole of photons of wavelength three hundred nanometers? Instead, only I ask this question in my class. Very, very simple question it is. Okay, now E is equal to H nu or H c by lambda. This is for one photon, and is asking for one mole. So finally, you need to multiply with Avogadro's number. 
Otherwise, the shortcut formula is mentioned here. E is equal to 1 to 4 0 by lambda. What is the energy of 1 mole of photons? Simple question from atomic structure. Again, easy. Very easy, you can say. For the equilibrium, A, B, delta H, A gives rise to B, delta H is equal to minus 42 kilojoules. Minus 42 means this is exothermic change. So, these kind of questions you can answer based on this kind of graphs also. And he mentioned this is 42. If the ratio of the activation energy of forward and backward reactions is 2 third, 2 by 3, okay now. So, you can say forward reaction activation energy, this is forward reaction activation energy and this is backward reaction activation energy, this is 2 times and this is 3 times. So, extra is nothing but 42. So, this you can say 42 plus 42 is nothing but 84. Simple logic, no? you see, this we are saying two times, this we are saying three times and we know this one that is 42. So, extra is nothing but that third part extra is nothing but 42. That means two times of that third part is nothing but 42 into 2 is equal to 84. Here some solution is mentioned by our experts and you can go like this also. Very simple concept it is again. You can, you can consider this is like thermodynamics equilibrium concept and all. Crystal field stabilization energy, CFSE, is maximum for. Here you can see molybdenum, chromium, osmium and iron. This is little bit tricky. Crystal field stabilization energy may be little, little beyond NCRT, but the answer is here, osmium. Crystal field stabilization energy depends on number of electrons, number of electrons point in the d orbital and nature of ligand also. In all these cases, water is the ligand, water is a weak field ligand, so it definitely depends on number of electrons. So, you must know the atomic numbers of these elements. About CFSE, we will discuss in one detailed video. hall herolds equation is, hall herolds equation is nothing but preparation of aluminium, extraction of aluminium. Aluminium is extracted from Al2O3 using carbon reduction that gives you aluminium and carbon monoxide. This is final expression. hall herolds equation means preparation of Aluminium or you say extraction of aluminium from Al2O3, bauxite ore. This given structure is the most tough job that students can feel here is about this kind. There are in chemistry in everyday life, there are some 10 15 structures are there. Any structure they can ask, okay. If you have any, there is they generally don't ask you to draw the structure, no? then he, they ask you to identify the structure. If you have any shortcuts, you go with that. Otherwise, it is completely memory based. Okay, now, it is memory based. If any parents are watching this video, if your kid is not answering this question, don't worry about that. Okay, now, that is purely memory based. There is no logic in that. Which of the following is not condensation polymer? Not condensation polymer, that is bunion. Bunion is an addition polymer. Nylon 6 is from caprolactam, condensation polymer. Dacron is an ester. Okay, and bakelite. Bakelite is coming from phenol and formaldehyde. This is also a very regular question. You must concentrate on these kind of points. Polymers, not a tough question, easy question only. So overall, till now, no question is there that you have to think long. Chemistry is definitely easy in paper 1 as well as paper. That means uh, morning session, afternoon session of chemistry is, till now it is easy. Which of the following does not cause global warming? Very simple question by seeing options you can say. Nitrogen, nitrogen is present in our air, it is not causing any global warming. So the easiest question a seventh standard student can answer this stability of carbocation this is one good one now you see oxygen will be having lone pair of electrons so when oxygen is attached directly here it shows plus m effect or is a plus r effect and when you see here oxygen is little bit away now here oxygen shows minus i effect and this is just a secondary carbocation here also secondary carbocation here also secondary carbocation so, plus M favors, so plus M, this is more stable, this is makes it unstable, so this is least, so the answer is ACB. It is more because of resonance effect of this oxygen lone pair, makes this electron pair stable and here no, no effect is there and here minus A effect because this is away, directly attached to plus M effect, little away. This is one good question, good question, okay, no, simple only but this is a good question. This kind of questions we can expect. And coming to this fifth question, this is again interesting, PCC, we know PCC what happened, this will become double bond O. So, this compound will be 
CH3, C double bond O, CH2, CH double bond CH, CH3. Next, they are asking I2. I2 means iodination. Iodination means iodoform reaction. Iodoform reaction alpha methyl ketones. This part will be converted to iodoform. This part will be converted to acid. So, COOH, CH2, CH double bond, CH, CH3. Then they ask for decarboxylation, decarboxylation, this part will be missing and you will be getting here CH3CH double one CH CH3. So the answer is butene. Okay, because of the hardiness, we didn't uh, type this answer completely here, but this is one simple one. Simple one. When two steps are there, you can expect this is a good question. Then coming to this one, which reagent is good? You see, the CH2 is converted to CHO, double bond. So, first step is anti marconic of addition of water. Anti marconic of addition of water. So, this chlorine is as it is, this will become CH2OH. And an oxidation, it is converted to PCC, primary oxidation, mild oxidation, it will be converted to CH. Again, one simple one. When you are writing examination, you may take some time for these two. It's okay, but you can answer. Anyway, check this. Nothing special. Anyway, check this. Or if it is converted into any real end product or cyclic product or something else. Okay, now because of this double bond, it may convert into some cyclic product, whatever it is. Number of pi electrons will be in the product will be two. Okay, now these are the two pi electrons. Again, simple. Aqueous NaOH just to remove this chlorine and it will become OH. How many peptide bonds in glycine, valenine, alanine, lysine, aspergine? You can see this is penta. Sorry, this is penta peptide, glycine, valine, alanine, lysine, and aspergine. So, five are there. When five are attached, that means it is having four peptide bonds. It's very simple. Deca peptide, nine bonds. Nona peptide, eight bonds. Okay, now. Dipeptide, one bond. That means two groups, two amino acids are joining. That is joined by one peptide bond. Here this is pentapeptide, so number of peptide bonds will be 4. We will come with more questions, more coming question papers, you try to be with us and thank you all.